This episode is sponsored by Ritual. Okay, guys, I need to come clean about something that I struggle with. I've never been vulnerable like this before, but I'm finally ready to be honest. Now, I know I might seem like a perfect woman who never feels insecure, who never looks in the mirror and, you know, says, ooh, you're ugly, you know, and always loves the girl I see in the reflection, but actually I'm fighting a battle every day with bloating. If this struggle is something you can relate to, boy, do I have some news for you. Today's sponsor, Ritual, created a product called Symbiotic Plus with that gut-related stuff in mind, honey. It contains clinically studied prebiotics, probiotics, and a postbiotic to support a balanced gut microbiome. No matter who you are, Symbiotic Plus and Ritual are here to celebrate, not hide your insides. There's no more shame in your gut game. That's why Ritual is offering our listeners 30% off during your first month. Visit ritual.com slash bald to start Ritual or add Symbiotic Plus to your subscription today. Um, the Crocs sent me these Jetsons Crocs. Aren't they fun? Those are wild. Crazy, right? I love the Jetsons, but it will say it took me a whole beat to understand what the theme of these were. I was like, what? What? And then I saw the spaceship. I was like, "Is it? oh, it's the Jetsons. Jane, his wife. His boy, Al Roy. Yeah. They really, they they really, really went, did a good job on that song. They really went. That intro is, um, has, has a, is molten, is, is a, like... You know Pompeii, how that city was preserved under the lava? That really did like kind of engrave itself into my consciousness. Pompeii, that, people preserved in lava, and then Hiroshima, people's people's silhouettes burned into walls from where they were standing when the explosion happened. Like ashes in the shape of their body burned into walls. It's a recurring theme in Watchmen. Mama. I you know I thought about I think about getting vaporized probably more than the average person. What would you, you hope or like you I worry think, or what no, is I this? think about, I just think about it. Like, um, like I think, it, you know, it was just September 11th. Um, and I think about, um, you know, they say never forget. So I don't. And I, I think about driving or flying into those twin towers or into the Pentagon. Cause we also, you know, we always forget actually that there was the, the Pentagon and then the one that was supposed to go to the white house. The Pentagon is still there. Mama, they were, yeah, but she, she got struck. Yeah. She got struck. Uh huh. She wasn't destroyed completely. But there were four planes, am I right? <laughs> forgot, forgot, forgot. Control room has already forgotten. Do you think we'll have another event like that in our lifetime? Absolutely. Yeah. It's I almost, d- I, I feel bad, but, but yeah. They're, but they're happening, they're on that scale, they're happening all the time. Yeah. Look it's at just, Ukraine. You know, I, I mean, know. there's like global catastrophes here and there. Told ya, thank you. I don't yeah. wanna be like Pollyanna, but like, wait. Oh yeah, the Jetsons believe that that was the year 2062. Yeah, right. Girl, flying through please, the air. I doubt it. Girl, please. Girl, Twitter will be called X. Like, still that, like, Mary, Twitter is X. I'm going to. What I'm are gonna, we doing? We, we talked about we this, doing? but it deserves. Re, 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 it, I went on, I opened my phone today. I don't use social media very much anymore. Me neither. And I went on to, to tweet something that I thought was particularly tickling to, to the, to, would be particularly enticing to my fan base. Uh huh. And I and I opened the social media folder, and what was down there? We had uh, Instagram, we had Grinder, we had X, and I thought, oh shoot, did I misplace a porno app into this folder? No, it's Twitter. It's fucking Twitter. Yeah, Twitter, formerly known as or X, formerly known as Twitter. This is like the whole Prince debacle back in the day. I have the been- artist formerly known as Prince. Do you think that a lot, maybe it's just you and I, do you think a lot of people are turning the corner on social media? I really care less and less. I mean, the only thing that really hooked me back in was Lauren Boebert getting jerked off at the theater in Beetlejuice. What happened? Lauren Boebert, the congresswoman, yeah, getting the Republican? fondled, felt up, finger blasted, and her jerking off her um, date during How a production of, this? because there was security camera footage and she surely was escorted out of the theater. Boobs touched, finger blasted, pussy at, eaten, dick at the musical sucked, Beetlejuice, kicked out of the theater. Lauren Boebert, Congresswoman, disgraced <laughs> at the fucking in boob- the theater. Wait, the, not the movie theater. The booted theater. out, booted out of the theater. Live production with children present, getting jerked off, titties fondled, jerking off her her date. Mama, there were babies crying in the aisle. She was but booted at the theater. Figure? She's a public servant, honey, getting jerked off at the theater. Lauren Bobert reporting Isn't for she, duty. She's, she's very conservative, yes. 
You know what's she's funny? Nuts. You know what's funny? She's if nuts. she was liberal, I think the gays would be like, honestly, work. Like, uh, no, I think she's that. She was only. It, it, it was. Um, she, if she hadn't accused her Muslim, her Muslim colleague of being a suicide bomber, if she hasn't, if she hadn't, you know, um, uh, alleged that uh, all drag queens are pedophiles, you know, if she hadn't gone through all this like really harmful rhetoric, I think she would be. Propped She'd up be, as a presidential hopeful. Yes, yes, exactly. Yes. But she surely is a shit well, well, disturber and a troll. Jerking off is not a crime. Sex is not a crime. But at in, the a, theater? in a theater where there's children and stuff, inappropriate. Also, inappropriate. And that's coming from a drag queen who's a groomer, but apparently. Guess, guess, so, get this though, Mama. She I'm was, grooming. Yeah, yeah, Mama. She, I'm grooming. Yeah, she's she's lead associate at Groomingdale's. She was um, when she she was kicked <laughs> out, kicked out of the theater for unruly behavior, and then. <laughs> She she lied and then when it when the security camera footage came up, she said I was well I'm eccentric. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there ain't no other way. You're no, you're not, Mama. You're, you're not, not eccentric. eccentric. You're, you're fucking, actually boring. You're a perverted bitch who gets. This is a, sadly the most exciting thing you've ever done. Thank you. Fondled it's up the wrong at time, the wrong theater. place, wrong time. Listen, let's say. You and your betrothed are leaving the theater. And date. You're in the it was just a date. And you're in the parking garage. Yeah. And you get finger blasted. Your no, panties and like, fall off. The and garage you get, is no. basically closed. Yeah. You're like, I'm a, I'm gonna, I'm yeah. in my car. It's tinted yeah. windows. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That should be about as public. Sure, sure, sure. Public servant. I don't believe we're servicing the public. Publicly in public. servicing. <laughs> <laughs> but um, so, Congressman Lauren Boebert, you are a mama. She got jerked up at well, the theater. Well, do you remember Miss T- Miss T- Miss um, Senator Larry Craig? Remember his toe tapping? Larry Craig? Wasn't it Senator Larry Craig? Oh, and I don't remember I believe this it was one. a Minnesota Republican no. uh, senator who was toe-tapping at the airport. Like, suck my cock. Remember that? I this don't. Is, I'm not this what do you mean, breaking Bra- news. Wait, wait, he's doing Morse code? Morse code? You don't know about toe-tapping? Morse code? M- rigor Morse. You got to use Morse code? No. Was he do- he, toe-tapping under a stall is like an old-school gay way of like, oh, do you want to hook stall. up? Of course, of course. It's yeah. like, hey. Pss, pss. Oh, no. You thought toe-tapping. I you thought said, was, was a, he doing a time step? I thought he was doing like, I thought he was either, doing, he was tap he was either doing tap dancing or Morris Code. That did happen, right? <laughs> you better yeah. use and Morris again, Code. But I mean, certain celebrities have gotten in trouble for masturbating at Theaters for masturbation. Yeah, yeah. And these are people who are not um, publicly elected officials serving the public on taxpayer dollars who are also um, purporting to live and abide by a code of ethics, morals, and a lifestyle that they are themselves not adhering to. Nothing of the sort. Thank you very much, that old maiden jerk like, off behavior in the theater. If she was a public figure who was very like pro sex, pro queer, pro everything. If she was Annie Sprinkle saying, let's fuck trees with our pussies out, that's a different thing. Annie this, Sprinkle? Annie Sprinkle, a, a performance, eco sex, uh, eco sex performance artist. Okay. But she has titties. She's, she, she's that, fucking trees. She's not a congresswoman. Let's just say that. No. No. Um, she, she's fucking trees. She's fucking the ground. She's doing public cervix announcements. Um, she, <laughs> she, she's legendary, but she's not, a, she's not running for Congress and she's not getting funded by taxpayer dollars. Let's just say that. Mama. Well. Jerked off at the theater. Again, to play devil's advocate. Get working 40 hours a week on the public's dime doesn't mean that when you go to the theater, you're on the clock. No, it certainly but this doesn't. Is still inappropriate. It's still inappropriate because, because yes, no, you don't, I don't go watch, I don't go to the Wiggles and, and, and get cornholed in the aisle. No. Cause well, you don't go to the Wiggles. No, but I don't go to Blue's Clues and fill up some titties <laughs> and pussies. I don't. I don't. I finger blast pussy. I don't. I don't put my fingers up and decide pussies and then go sucking on titties. Uh, <laughs> I don't do that. I don't do I that. Don't, uh, Call me crazy. Ah! <laughs> I just, Call me old fashioned, Lauren Bober. Uh, by the way, she's lucky I wasn't there. I would have been like, I just think it's really funny. Yeah. You know, like bitch got kicked, booted out the theater. But boot, you know what though? Boot, boot, scoot out. Her support comes from a group of people who. Or I mean, wild and out with Nick Cannon. These are the grabber by the pussy people who are yes. like, so what? Yeah. This is her locker so room she talk. Jerked this off is her locker room yeah. talk. So she jerked off the date of Beetlejuice. Whatever. So there were six-year-olds nearby. Whatever. You know? By the way, not flattering. The artists on stage, you know, they went to uh, AMDA. They went to Milliken. They went to all the um, musical theater schools, mm-hmm. the conservatories. Juilliard. The Juilliards. Yeah. They went to the master classes. Yeah. They did a private lesson with Sherry Renee Thank Scott. Thank you. They did it Thank all. You. Yeah. And all for what? For them to walk on stage in that Lydia wig. It's not and, flattering. They're not going, still got it. No, like, no. no. They look out. And Lauren Boebert's got her hand up some guy's asshole fisting girl, him. <laughs> girl, girl. Lauren Boebert is straddling a Sibian in the front row, v- 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 in the front row, vibrating taking her glasses her- off. <laughs> look, at, she is crouched over a jackhammer. Okay. She's taking four and five loads. Girl. <laughs> 
a traffic cone up her pussy. <laughs> She There's has a line of people. Ushers are ready to. Co- to they're all they're, waiting. It's a dump, a cum dump. <laughs> it's a Lauren Bobert Beetlejuice cum dump. <laughs> oh, Bobert, baby, you done it again. Not, first of all, it's not Woo! funny. It's not funny. It's not funny. It's to make a room full of people consent to your sex act. It's Mama, not funny. That's sexual terrorism it's not funny. on the on the taxpayer's dime. What makes it funny is. That person who's like, oh, I would never do that, is now doing that. You know what I mean? And also, um, drag queens are groomers, but I'm going to get jerked off at the theater in front of a six year old. You know Ooh. who's trying to jerk off drag queens? Nobody. Bobert. Nobody. <laughs> no, Bobert is. <laughs> <laughs> Bobert's at the Hamburger Mary's. Yeah, yeah. Who using, wants? And she's snuck she's into got, the back room. She's got a bullet she's got Morgan each nose. And, and She's got Morgan McDichael's <laughs> tuck untucked and she's yanking on it. And she's like, Delta, you need them titties sucked, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck! Fuck! Lauren Bobert goes L- straight Lauren to Bobert jail. Lauren Bobert was supposed to guest judge on Drag Race, but she had reached over and was fingering <laughs> Michelle, fingering yeah, RuPaul, she kept fingering asking, the hilarious yeah. Moss Beth Matthews and style superstar Carson Cressley. <laughs> And she had to be asked to leave because she was being inappropriate. Darren had to boot her out of the studio. The musical was. Rudel, ju- rudel juice <laughs> and Lauren said oh no oh no oh no, oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. these fingers got a mind of their own this episode is sponsored by Rakuten it's nice to be rewarded for the things you already do wouldn't it be cool to get a trophy for taking a shower or a medal for doing the dishes Well, today's sponsor Rakuten actually does this by giving you cash back bonuses for spending money at your favorite stores that you already are shopping at anyway. Wow! Rakuten is the smartest way to save money when you shop because you get cash back at over 3,700 stores across every single category, including fashion, beauty, electronics, home essentials, travel, dining, and so much more. I just signed up for Rakuten and it was free and super easy to set up my account and start saving. The list of stores they work with include Sephora, Nike, Best Buy, which are three places I'm already shopping at all the time anyway, so I'm excited to start earning cash back by using Rakuten. And honestly, I feel dumb for ever spending a cent without Rakuten because I missed out on all this cash back. Oh my God. So don't you want to join me and Rakuten's 17 million other members who've earned over 4.6 billion in cash back? People from all walks of life, teachers, Doctors, construction workers, podcasters, Buddhist monks, Chinese aphrodisiac cooks, all coming together to save money. Isn't that beautiful? So start shopping at Rakuten.com or get the Rakuten app to start saving today. Your cash back really adds up. By the way, she was on a date. Was it Tinder? Yeah. Like- uh, well, and she, she uh, TMZ, caught, TMZ caught up with her um, a little bit after the incident and she caught she up with her caught up with her at the airport or something and she very glibly said um i, I believe that was you know uh, uh, the last of that date or whatever you know that 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 person will i will not be whatever whatever well, I mean, it was um, all flippantly it was all flippant and glib and kind of dismissive listen um, i'm very sex positive but in this in this instance wrong time wrong place lady inappropriate behavior from a public elected official yeah there's you could do a lot of flirting a lot of hand on the knee Hand, arm around, how about this? kiss on the cheek, how about this? and then you can save that moment for just a little more privacy. Or about, hey, but how about you just shut the fuck up, watch the show, and then go home and shit on his face or whatever you want to fucking do. Or leave in the middle. Well, they did, but they were booted out. Leave in the also, middle. Also, they were unruly. They were rude. They, there was other behaviors that were going on. They, she's like, oh, yeah, I'm going to check party affiliations before I go on another date. Like, Well, vaping, don't even get me started. Vaping, Girl, Mary, no, vaping Mary. at the theater. No, v- vaping, vaping is worse than the jerking off. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> we, we were on a tour together. Vaping I was on the tour the bus. Theater. I'm here to tell you that people who vape think that they should vape everywhere and anywhere. That's, and I'm not in that school of thought. Right. Mary, that strawberry mango mojito cloud of smoke. The cl- yeah. We're not doing that. We're not doing that. On the tour bus, I walked in and said, what are you doing? What are you it's doing? like, oh, it's just a vape. And I said, get off the bus. Yeah. That's sm- You're the smoker bus. I know. And they're not even vaping on the smoker bus. So why are Mama, you Mama, we're not vaping or smoking on the bus. Honey. Oh, oh yeah. We Actually, we could smoke on the bus. People in their bunks in vaping the, on the bus? No, I'm like, girl. No, we're not doing that. I don't... That's the thing about vaping that I really never... Um, it's 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 smokers <sighs> with the audacity. Like, even further audacity. But, but I don't even think it's that because smokers have a very... Smoke, especially if you're still smoking now, cigarettes, um, 
or or weed or whatever, you have a very there are clear cut un, um, unambiguous boundaries about where and when you can smoke. Mm -hmm. Like that's the whole kind of gig about smoking. I have to go outside. Yeah, it's non negotiable. If I smoked a cigarette in here right now, Damn. you would slap me in the face and kick me out like I was jerking off Lauren um, Boebert in the theater. There was a drag queen I worked with in this studio and yeah. I had to go to a gig and they were closing up and they were, you know, going to lock the door. Yeah. I got home from the gig, reeked of weed in here. Yeah. And I was like, I don't even smoke weed in this house. Unacceptable. Because because the, the impact that it has, I mean, now granted, the, the vapor's defense, I would assume is that, well, it's not going to, it's not going to seep its way into your curtains, your fabric, your, the, the, the human hair wigs or whatever. That's not the point. It's not as bad for sure. It's not as bad, but it's still um, inappropriate. It's still inappropriate. But also the, the problem with the vaping is because there aren't those boundaries. There aren't those checkpoints in place. Vapors just vape all day, all the time, in the bed, on the toilet. In the bed? Are you nuts? What are you nuts? I don't get in bed yes, with vapors. That's in the bed all the time, at the sewing machine, at the, um, in the theater, uh, um, in the handicap stall. Everywhere in the airplane bathroom, everywhere. It's the ubiqu It's the the accessibility and the ubiquity of the vaping, which yes. is really the problem. And, and not to be like, just to be honest, I have my own prejudices probably against vaping, right? Why? Well, it's so new. I feel like oh, we don't yeah. know what a twenty-year-old vapor's lungs look like. Somebody no, I think who's we're getting twenty there. years. We don't. We know. have an inkling though, and so I worry about that. At least with yeah. like smoking weed or something, we know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so well, the research is coming out that it's not great. It's not great. I mean, I think of again, Kathy Griffin. Well, it's certainly lung not good. Never smoked in her life. Lung yeah. cancer. I mean, it's not great, right? Vaping is not great. I just hope and pray for the vapors that they find that boundary where other people in the room don't go like, just, just pull out a vape in the middle of my living room. You know what I yeah, mean? Like, it's tough. I hate being put in that position where I'm like, it's what like a no shoe household if someone walks in with shoes and I'm like, can you? I, well, we just watched Serial Mom. The cop walks in chewing gum and she goes, I'm sorry, officer. This is a no gum household. And puts out the tissue and he has to spit it out. Mm. And I was like, yeah, it's your house. It's your boundary. Yeah. Say it, girl. You go, girl. You go, girl. You Say it, girl. You, you put that boundary up. I, I, um, I have, I, I frequently run into that problem in my home because I, I have a no shoe policy and it's, um, but sometimes, it, you know, depending on if we're just running through, it gets a little nebulous. But I, but hey, listen. So you don't want to put on your shoes. You can't come inside. I know. Take off your shoes. You can't come inside. I know. But well, like this room. This is a white carpet. There was a time where it was like, fuck. I, just, if I don't take my shoes off, it gets gross in here quickly. I know. But your socks are worse than your shoes. So now what? <laughs> Did you tap dance and dog shit on the way here, and then put the shoe on? Is that what occurred? No, I was fisting Lauren Bobert at the theater last night Isn't during the production crazy? of Gone with the Wind. Crazy. That's crazy. She's getting silicone put in her dick at Beetlejuice. <laughs> like, she's got saline balls at Beetlejuice. She was teabagging her Democratic date with her <laughs> giant engorged saline clit. She was uh, slapping him in the face with she's the doing, clit. She's doing and then she was him. spraying the whole of the row with, with piss. No, the ushers, came, <laughs> some, some hourly worker usher in an unfitting uniform yeah. came over with a little light and she had a sounding rod of her <laughs> date's cock and she said, what? What? It's, you can't. <laughs> it's a ballad. It's a knitting needle. It's, it's, it's a B-side number. Like no <laughs> yeah. one's watching. Like I thought this was still intermission. Yeah, crazy. Also singing at a musical is worse than anything. What do you think is an under? Did you imagine going to see Les Mis? And the well, why would you go to see Les Mis? I yeah, well, let's you. say the windows open, the, the the curtains open, and the person next to you is like, <clears throat> "At the end of the day, it's another day yeah. older." And you're like, "Yeah, it's this has to stop." If I went to the if I went to a production of Les Mis, you know what happened? It's the loud as I can, the grittiness of life in 19th century France, the conflicts between good and evil, and the concept of redemption are all brought to life on screen in an unforgettable musical journey. <laughs> Catherine Zeta Jones did the 2012 Golden Globes. You better catch it. <laughs> she did catch it. She is crazy. Oh. Talk about, I mean, she is crazy. She is compelling, though. Compel uh, but, but she eats in Chicago. She eats. She's untouchable. She's untouchable. Everything. Uh -huh. She's an untouchable Welsh uh, superstar. She's amazing. Cannot, cannot, not down, whatever the opposite Michael of Douglas? down to earth is. Her husband? 80 years old. Yeah, go, um, go, go 78, off the I believe. Um, I love she, May December. I love old and young. Love it in the adult years. I don't love. To, <laughs> I don't love eighteen and thirty-eight. You know what I mean? Like or like twelve and thirty-five. But I love like fifty and seventy. Love that. 
Love well, it's, that. It's appropriate. Love that. You know, it's appropriate. And women die much, much later. Later. You're going to outlive your husband probably anyway. Right. Might as well lean into it. Lean into it. Lean into that Douglas dynasty. We don't see many older women, younger men relationships. I uh, guess Mary was, Kay Letourneau would love a word. But I guess like Demi and Ashton at the time, that's it. That's the only one I knew of. Oh, come on. There's plenty. Um, we see it in gay world a lot. Gay old, world. Young, old young, old young. Yeah, absolutely. Well, because, you know. It's so fierce Palm when someone's Springs, like, how about? I'm going to talk about Palm Springs. We all have those gay people in our life where you're like, oh, here's your new boyfriend. What is he actually 19? Like, you know, yeah, like 20. I know. 20. I have been, um, myself, I have been a perpetrator of this. Let's not call it a crime. Let's just call it a participator in the trend, let's say. Sure. Um, in the activity. And um, the youngest li- I've ever been with was somebody who was 23. And at the time I was... 30 or whatever? Well, I mean, that's seven years is not that much. But even for me, that was an extreme stretch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I yeah. like, I like, I'm only really attracted to around my age. So I can't throw stones. Yeah. I mean, my I, body's not telling me to fuck 19 year olds. Right. Like I don't have that instinct. My body's, my body's telling me to, it's not, it, it, there's definitely not an age group that I fetishize or that I gravitate towards. And honestly. none of them fetishize you. <laughs> Shut and so it kind of works out. <laughs> Shut up. So, but I was recently, so, so I've hooked up with a few guys recently. One of them, you know, it's always a little bit humbling and perhaps a bit, it's not concerning, it's not insulting, but it is just a little bit eye, eye opening when they reveal that they are in fact attracted to older men. And then I find myself t- in the harsh reality of that category it's, because I am in fact an older man to them. It's only a 27 old. Yeah, it's I'm 25. I got bone density issues, and I'm crab walking down the, the you know, right in the sand. But uh, the you know, I, I'm like, okay, okay, whatever. I'm 41. This person is 27 or 26 or 25 even, and that's older. That's older. And also, I look old now. And um, you think I do? Is I do? It, it, you know, I like I got no hair. I mean, I have hair, but it's like shaved and gray. Do you think you look good? Um, I think you look good. I think my body looks great. Your body looks like my great. body looks great naked. Um, and I have a nice dick. Um, but, uh, it's just like, you know, uh, when at certain angles and in certain light in certain situations, it's like, it, it gives, it gives like uh, twinkle fester, twinkle fester, you uh-huh. know, like uncle fester. But Trico, a little tw- 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 faster. Tw- yeah. <laughs> you know, it gives a little creep, you know, if minus the, the little, the wispies, the, the creep creeper head, yeah. you know, it, it gives a little ghoulish. Yes. It gives a little ghoulish, but um, I'm not agreeing. I'm just listening. No, no. But, um, but so then, but I see it, you know, it can give a little ghoulish, but I, so in, this is funny. Like I was thinking about this recently and I, because I've noticed that more and more and more, I've come across people who are really, really comfortable at, at, at and have the instinct to film themselves. Sure, have, sexually. Film each other having sex. I've never had that inclination, I would assume, because I don't exactly think of myself as having a porn star body with striking Hollywood looks in the yeah. bedroom. But but many, many people who, who I don't think even think of themselves that way either, it, it is a much more common um, in, uh, 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 practice. I have never ever wanted to see myself have sex and I, I'm totally engrossed in the feeling of it in the feeling of it the present. and I don't want to relive it I'm not going to stop and record no when am I going to watch it shitty when am I going to watch it in, in, in iPhone flash lighting of gritty Mary gritty. Dugan I got it and then we got to set up the shot and now there's lube on the camera and it's slippery it's like I, I'm not putting a tripod in my bedroom there's hardly any space and then what if the, what if the, there's, there's not no in memory. your house it's Mom. way too small <laughs> But some of us could. Or what's the alternative? Am I going to prop up four different security cameras? I mean, it's just then it's a First of all, you're not going to use state. an iPhone. You're going to use no. a Galaxy because they take better video. Oh, that they do. In the dark, they do, for oh, sure. But they guess look what? Great. Mary, I'm, when we have access to a mostly free of charge library of every single pornographic clip ever made on this God fucking, God's green earth for nearly free, hardly any money at all. Why would I bother to contribute? Why would I throw my Can little rocks in that stream? Anybody who does sex work, please like tune me out and don't pay attention to me right now. Yeah. Trigger warning. Yeah, yeah. Who's paying for porn when it's so available okay. for free? So I'm, I'm not being like no, 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 I'm no, not no, looking no. down on people. I'm saying why? Why? I am. Tell me. Well, okay, because um, 
Because I actually don't Because I'm a it. sex addict. <laughs> so it has something to do with being, it has something to do with compulsive sex addiction. In my case, a little bit. You but like also, the pay for play element. Well, so I, I know that it, there is, this isn't, this is my unprofessional opinion. I could very well be wrong, but in my case and in, in the cases of other people I know, uh, there is an overlap. In the criminal justice the, system. <laughs> I don't know why dun, dun, I gave that. Dun, 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 the other people, dun, 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 well, like, it, they, um, it, would you still jerk off if every time you jerk off that song played? Mom, I'd probably jerk off more. <laughs> <laughs> but like, there is an overlap in the Venn diagram of sex addiction and gambling. Okay. So, like, say for example, it's almost like it, it, it gives shades of cash pig. I'm thinking of Kelly Mantle at that casino when we were on tour. Yes. Now imagine if instead of slots, where it's another kind of slot. It's, right. it's a Romanian webcam guy. But in, that's in the, different than paying for porn. I'm talking about owning yes. a membership to a porn website. Which I own. Sean Cody or whatever. I don't know. Currently, I am the, un, I, un, I'm, I will release this information. I probably shouldn't, but I'm not ashamed of it. I have plenty of money. Um, I probably, I have four or five active memberships to, um, to adult websites. And here's why. Because you get access to extremely, well lit, super high definition downloadable files that sure. you can keep forever. Sure. Okay. Rent so to that, own. So so yeah. So so you're um, because remember back. I mean, you don't even remember this because back in the day, a pornographic videotape. I'm talking VHS videotape bought at the local sex shop. The only place to actually get one. No internet. Sixty dollars. What? Absolutely. Mark, can you corroborate that? I don't think he would care. The peanut gallery would remain would uh, remain silent. Sixty Mark's to like, I didn't seventy, have a, VHS. a full length feature film from like Shishi Larue, for example, All Worlds Video, Naked Sword, Naked. Uh, this is I think before Naked Sword, All, um, All Worlds Video. These um, these uh, what are now called vintage pornos. These two hour pornos, sixty dollar VHS tapes, some sixty seventy dollars at the sex shop, and that was the only way in the nineties. Because they had the chokehold on your, your horniness. They well, could jack yes. up that price. Of course. Wow. So, and that's when those studios like made money and, and, and that's when the star, the, the, well, there was porn, porn stars, stars then more Johnny Hazard. And they um, make a lot of money. Well, yeah, yeah but they made Whereas money. Now I think the industry, and I could be just speculating. It seems like there's the few stars in porn, at least gay porn. And then self-made. Well, the interest is even though stars, the interest is fucking new 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 it's, and it's never not. been on camera never been on camera never been on camera it's all about new new this new. is what i was just saying to anthony it was like the real i believe the real currency in la and perhaps everywhere else in terms of gay male sexuality is novelty yeah it, it's not who has the biggest muscles who has the even the biggest dong and although all. that is very big on the currency thing it's who's new yeah yeah who's new who's new on the scene and What's what we the love new is flavor? new fucking someone novelty. we like Yes. Then you have the security of, well, I love him. Yeah. And, and there's ooh, a new, new guy. Yeah. And we love new, never been on camera, never done this before. New, right. new, 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 yes. new. And also like, it's the cycle because our, that, that, um, the desire pleasure brain, that's all it seeks. New, new, faster, better, hotter. And it's just, sometimes it's a lateral. It's not like climbing up the ladder of the mountain of hotness. It's, it's going around the mountain, Yeah, you know? And that's, that's the way that kind of like desire brain works when it's in that, that really like kind of intense addictive well, especially cycle. in straight world too because you know i'm not in straight world but as open to sex things as gay people are straight people are like they got that fucking wedding ring by 22 and they are like horse blinders of like if you're not like i wouldn't i would say that porn thrives because people are restricted it's a way to experience things without like i don't know leaving your house you can have very full color hd sexual experiences Mary, on your phone God, and it's healthy honey very healthy 3d virtual reality you can get jerked off by jenna jameson what do you think of people who think porn is bad um well i think that those people i think that i think those people if it's a moral issue that's where i then take girl, umbrage whatever. i take umbrage with that but it's anything it porn anything is, in excess can be a problem anything in excess is a problem and when we're dealing with a sexual uh 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 the, the kind of dopamine release of like sex, sex addiction, anything can become a problem. Yeah. It's pickle eating. It's pops, popsicle stick house making. It's, Is um, it interfering with your life? Extraction videos. There you go. Anything really. I mean, it's like people eating their own feces. You know, I think it's healthy, but other people wouldn't agree. Let's take a break. <laughs> 
This episode is sponsored by Ritual. Okay, guys, I need to come clean about something that I struggle with. I've never been vulnerable like this before, but I'm finally ready to be honest. Now, I know I might seem like a perfect woman who never feels insecure, who never looks in the mirror and, you know, says, ooh, you're ugly, you know, and always loves the girl I see in the reflection, but actually I'm fighting a battle every day with bloating. If this struggle is something you can relate to, boy, do I have some news for you. Today's sponsor, Ritual, created a product called Symbiotic Plus with that gut-related stuff in mind, honey. It contains clinically studied prebiotics, probiotics, and a postbiotic to support a balanced gut microbiome. Symbiotic Plus is a delayed release capsule designed to help survive the harsh conditions of the upper GI tract for delivery to the colon, an ideal place for probiotics to grow and thrive. It combines the power of a prebiotic, probiotic, and postbiotic all in one single nested minty capsule. No refrigeration needed, so it's easy to take with you when you travel. Just put it in your purse, honey. Just put it in your purse. Just put it in your purse, your pocket. I really appreciate how Symbiotic Plus is just a simple capsule I can take and know I'm taking care of my gut. I mean, I'm not a GI doctor or a GI Jane or a GI Joe, but... No matter who you are, Symbiotic Plus and Ritual are here to celebrate, not hide your insides. There's no more shame in your gut game. That's why Ritual is offering our listeners 30% off during your first month. Visit ritual.com slash bald to start Ritual or add Symbiotic Plus to your subscription today. I know I've been a person who has been, who definitely has had bouts and bouts of mean streaks, porn addiction. Sure. I mean, you know, usually with, usually on Cractina. Mm -hmm. Um, but sometimes not. And, and I will, I mean, one time in Boston, this is is listeners. If you have a faint of heart, please close your ears for the next about minute and a half. I masturbated for 18 hours Mm. straight. Didn't go to the bathroom. You couldn't figure it out. Couldn't figure out how to how to get Were the, the pee pee hole. Are you kidding? No, I was no, I was in a very I was clear headed and stone cold you were sober. You at the library. Yeah. You were at Beetlejuice. <laughs> I was actually with Lauren I Bobert. was actually in a, four, a, a, a double feature. <laughs> uh, was it Beetlejuice and Les, Les Mis? Mis. <laughs> <laughs> I creamed a cream of life gone by. Yeah, um, it was. Uh, no, I was huddled on my desk, my computer desk chair, and up above the Jacques apartment. Shades you were drawn. In, you were in the castle on a cloud, Mom. Uh, it was puff, 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 the magic, yeah, tweaker. And it was um, rubbing the skin off, pulling on the taffy, long past the point of actual objective pleasure. Scabs. Mama scabs. And, yeah, it, yeah, it was. Track marks she on was the scabbing, deck. Scabbing. Yeah. She was scabbing. She was scabbing. She crossed the picket line into scab territory. Anyways, so, but, you know, that's, <laughs> that's like, she, she was, sag cut her off. Sag cut her the fuck off for Damn. being a scabby dicked bitch. <laughs> She said, where's the, <laughs> this, show is why we need the this is show why we need writers. This is why we need writers. <laughs> this is why we need writers. Show us on the doll where the, you, the doll, show us on the doll where the picket line crossed you. Thank you. Yeah. yeah you well, scabby bitch. But anyway, so porn is, porn is a, um, I don't think that porn, is, if we're talking about human rights violations and issues, notwithstanding trafficking, not an issue. Consent is all there. Porn itself is not bad. It's a tool. Well, can it's I a, ask? There's so much free porn. And what guess what I'm getting to is if you seeked out free free I don't know, if Sod. there was an ex hamster of pirated movies, that's that's well, illegal. That's bad. It's sad to not pay for movies. I but if there's porn clips on Pornhub, let's say, maybe they've been pirated, maybe they haven't, and I have way of no no way of knowing. Am I hurting the industry by yes. watching free porn? Yes, you are. I am. You are taking cash out of these independent um, you're, no, but like we really are, right? No, like no, no. If no. I watch porn clips Honey, on Twitter, what if I pirate your fucking? What if I um, pirate your fucking music? Who would? <laughs> that was an air question. Lauren Boebert. Who would? Lauren Boebert. <laughs> well, they didn't check it out, but Lauren Boebert had AirPods yeah. in, and it was um, a raisin in the sun. Yeah, yeah. She, <laughs> she was singing my music. Yeah, she was yeah. like Malibu. Yeah, yeah. no, no. Uh, but it's, I mean, because what? I don't know. I could list off Julian, Austin, Roman. Um, uh, uh, Logan, Becky, Chirac, Tina. yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> thanks for holding on the floor. Uh, 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 yeah. Um, but they, I am literally, I would be, um, not robbing them, but depriving them of, uh, well, the ethical way is they provided to, me with the service right. and I did not pay the admission price. Cause you, and you got it the roundabout way. 
I got it. I went through the back door. I right. snuck into the right. theater and jerked off. Oh my gosh, off. you're right. You're right. I snuck into the theater. You're right. And I, I did not have an admission ticket, and I, and I got to experience the full, the full fierceness of their performance. You know, this is a call to action here, and I'm with you. The next time you know? we all want to watch porn, let's let's try to find it and and get it the most responsible way. How about this though? So I was talking to a creator who makes his entire living off of OnlyFans and Just for Fans and all those kind of independent sites. He's a content creator of the porn variety, and he admitted that he don't he fucking you don't fucking pay for porn either. I get it. I mean, I feel very strongly about stealing music. I think that's really wrong. I have never illegally downloaded music t- since I was like 18. Do you know that I fucking haven't either, but because of it's not because of uh, morality, it's because of stupidity. Yeah, like how am I, I going to go find a backdoor site? Like, like I've, I never knew LimeWire and Napster. Girl, I don't never know how to, knew how yeah. to use it. But um, I consider stealing movies wrong. I, st- I consider stealing um, music wrong. We need to consider sucking off, like sapping off porn wrong. Unless you're getting it from where someone's selling it, maybe we do need to think well, of it as here's, wrong. And also, here's here's the thing: the reason, one of the reasons why I do go to the source is because of the quality. I'm not trying to watch 480, right, honey? 480, right? I want 1080, right? You know what I mean? I want I want the pixels. Yeah. I want the depth. Yeah. I want the full length. I don't want some watermarked. A uh, little highlight clip in Where it shitty cuts off resolution. Right they come. Yeah, Mary. I, and then you're gonna you skip that part. You know that's my favorite part. Why'd you skip over her? Why'd you skip because over her? Tr- because they want you to. They're trying to get you yeah. to be also, ethical. And also, you are supporting a third party um, little um, goon who created their own little thing by stealing other stuff. Do you know what I mean? And, and, and running money Movado off the watch. Ads. And running money off the ads. Movado watch. Movado watch. It's that kind of energy. Yeah. Th- this fell off a truck and I'm out in the square selling it. And hey, my watch. Also, like all those porn videos start with a voiceover that's like, the new porn game where you get to fuck your mom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. always yeah. Or that. jerk mate. Yeah. So easy to use. Or like, or like, if you don't watch this video, you have to fuck your granny. <laughs> like, did you it's heard that always, one? Yeah. It's crazy. The, on, the online, um, it's like the all online sex multiplayer where you fuck your fucking parents. It's always that. If you don't it's never finish like, this video. Do you like it. busty blondes? <laughs> It's like, do you want to drink your grandma's piss today, son? <laughs> well, do you're you want to jerk it with you Warren wanna... at Beetlejuice? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got a hard on for Bobert State too. Yeah, it's God. crazy. So, but but in my so it, my porn cleanse, which I've had a couple, and I gotta tell you, I'm not a I'm not a Puritan. I don't. I'm not. I'm one of those people. I, I, I you know, sex is lovely. I love pleasure, all that crap. But to do those resets where you really kind of. Where you just sw- you kind of clean the slate a little bit because we do get oversensitized. You close the door to the spiritual realm. Yes, and I'm telling you, your I this is for me personally at least uh, when you oversaturation with the pornography and 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 having grooving those tunnels to to orgasm become becomes detrimental to actual real life sexual pleasure in terms of like can I get off with another person without switching on the TV without going in my head thinking about something else. Like, you know what I mean? Like those, um, it, and I've noticed this with the younger crowd of 24 and over, let's say, um, you know, where they can't get off naturally. They have problems with their boners because there's, because they've been watching special, they've been watching every kind of porn since they were 12. I could use a boner problem. Mama. I could use a boner problem. Your heart is a rock. You're red. It's the redwood forest down there. No, but ever since I started drinking now, when I'm horny, it's a pressing incident. It's an impediment to my day. Literal, it needs to literal, be dealt it's with. Pressing, it's it's pressing. really hard for me to not handle it. All these puns. Like all these puns. And you know, <laughs> now that I live with David, wait, wait, are too, you saying that you're you become an uncontrollable sex monster? No, but who's like now that I penis? live with David, oh. I'm like, Mama. well, you're in the house. Yeah. Why don't you go jerk off secretly in the bedroom? This Rap. is your problem yeah. now. You know, you 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 in the middle into of watching the TV. Forest, I walk you in front of the tree. TV naked and go. Yeah, I'm. Erect. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, not that, but like, <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I guess uh, without the ebb and the flow of being hungover or drunk or whatever, my body is just like healthy. Well, what about being horny? Yeah. It, well, it's probably it's it's, and um, it's also the he- circulation. Yes, yeah, and the exercise, the, and the exercise, water and everything. And also, my my, you ever noticed on leg day you get super horny if you do a workout, the lower body workout, those intense leg workouts, horny as fuck. After later long on. runs, yeah, big time. Yeah. If you do heavy, heavy weight on the legs, quad, quad hamstring workouts, mama, you will, that boner, somebody could hang from it one-armed off a cliff. Yeah. Lauren Berbert. 
<laughs> she's got my prolapse in her mouth. She's got two fingers in your ass. Yeah. You, she's got there are other full fists on your dick, and you are feeling up her fucking titties <laughs> at the Lion King. <laughs> Do you think we went too hard on Lauren today? I don't think we went hard enough because she certainly seems to. <laughs> Listen, we have a great sense of humor about sex. Congresswoman Bobert, we salute you. Yeah, we in your a, nasty fucking agenda. I have a healthy sense of humor about sex, and I love when I do love when the conservatives go down. For, well, because Mama, they their the name it. of their game is by and large hypocrisy, hypocrisy. right? Hypocrisy, and, and 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 the name of the game of the, just to draw very very broad horrible generalizations, I would say. The right is hypocrisy. The left is fucking, what do you call that? Um, like a, a, a leg p- avenue. P- pussy face. It, like, not pussy face, but like um, blithering, blothering, inaction, whatever, you right. know? Um, and uh, th- I don't know. It's just crazy. But I, I, the, the porn thing is. <sighs> I would just recommend anybody out there, if you're horny, leave the theater and go home and have sex. It's just yes. a better move. It's oh, a better of move. course. Especially um, if you're a public servant. Gotta think about your constituents, you know. I think she's. I think she's really just a troll, though. All press is good press with the troll folk. That's T. Okay. Can I also talk about? I've been getting very strong. I've been making significant progress with my little fitness at home. Mm-hmm. So I'm working on. I'm working on hangs. I've got one arm hangs going on. Go on. Yeah. Um, but I've been getting very strong, and I've just noticed it's because of um, consistent. It, it really do take consistent consistency is the watchword here yeah of course i mean it's like you I mean, this You're is conditioning so, your body I, to I know, do something i know i know i know it's so it's self-explanatory not news to anybody but um it's like but the joy of it is really keeping me um tethered to this earthly realm as we, as we, as of late isn't that great? great i enjoy exercise so much that i i get sad at the idea that if i do it in the morning the rest of the day it's over well let me tell you something do you know what i mean let me tell you something you're gonna love this I've recently discovered that it doesn't have to be a wrap in the morning. You can do another one in the evening. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes I'll lift in the morning and then run at night. Oh, or if yeah. I have a long one in the morning, I'll still do a short run at night. Okay. And I do love it. Or a little movement snack after lunch. Yeah. <laughs> and now that the heat is breaking, mm-hmm. I'm running out. Because I, I love the treadmill because it keeps me from running in 100 degree heat. But I yeah. get bored. Yeah, of course. You're on a hamster wheel. I love feeling like I'm going somewhere. LA yeah. traffic. I love fearing for my life. <laughs> yeah. You know? The thrill of Lauren, Lauren Bobert might be around the corner trying yeah. to clip oh, you. entirely. With a Hummer. Girl, <laughs> giving someone a Hummer. <laughs> on Santa Monica Boulevard. On Santa Monica Boulevard. But not slowing She's down. She's in Vaseline Alley. <laughs> yeah. She's taking she, loads. She is. She is at Flex Spa. <laughs> legs up She's in a dark spa. room. <laughs> She's sucking cock at Wee Spa. That's horrible. Poor thing. But who? Poor thing. Us this, dragging the staff this woman. At, wall at the Wee Spa? <laughs> yeah. Mama, she dragged herself in and out of that theater, jerking that man off. Give me a break. Wasn't the Wee Spa where that woman was? Yes. Penis and testes. Woman. Penis and testes. The penis. transphobic woman. Penis and testes. Penis, no, dick ball and testy. I've never been to one of those spas because I know personally, I don't really want to see people naked okay. personally. I, I, I think I told this story briefly, but I'll, I'll recap a little bit. I was hoodwinked bamboozled and and um not maliciously but 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 taken to that place under false pretenses because as soon as we arrived me and my silicone bald friends and porn star friends who had no problem disrobing immediately once you're given a face cloth as a towel is it a sex place no absolutely no, it's right? not absolutely it is spa. not we spy. it is not a sex club it is a spa Flex is a sex place. Flex is the spa. Or it's implied. Flex is a sex club. Okay. It's a, it's a men's spa with sex. People doing shooting up meth there. Okay. <sighs> no, no, no. That's real. But people are not doing that at the Wii Spa. It is a They're Korean spa. It's a Korean spa and... that has that has hot tubs and cool tubs and cold plunges and all the things. But it is a nude spa. So you are in when you get in the hot tub, there are no clothes allowed. That spooks me. I wouldn't it want to be a part of that. It spooks me too because I'm Catholic and I was I was a, a raised to be ashamed of my naked body that it was a crime. I'm not ashamed of my naked body, but other people's nudity makes me a little uncomfortable, and right, that's my own whatever. But right. maybe Same that means thing. I'm supposed to go like exposure I think, therapy. I mean, it, it couldn't hurt. Um, and you and you won't. And let me tell you something. I was concerned that maybe I would become aroused, and Mama, that does not happen. No, it doesn't fucking happen. It doesn't fucking happen. Maybe it does to, to some other person, but I feel like... Well, it's like if you take Viagra, it doesn't make you horny. No, no, no. You have to be turned on to be horny. Yeah. yeah. 
Um, and that's that on that. Okay, so, um, fun fact: I this let, let's uh, we're gonna uh, leave this on a cliffhanger. Guess what I tried? Try mix. See you next week. <laughs> Thank you.